Mum guilt. We are all guilty of feeling guilty, aren't we? my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. Today I am collaborating with one of my favourite people in the whole wide world. Her name is Hayley and she blogs and vlogs over at Land of Lawson. Her little boy is Lawson of course and he is so so adorable. Make sure you go and follow her and of course you will hear more from her in a little while. So our collaboration is all about ways of beating that mum guilt because I don't know about you but I feel guilty a lot of the time. I always feel like I should be doing this or I could be doing that and it actually is not any use to anyone feeling that way and so Hayley and I got together to think of 10 ways in total so five on my channel five on her channel 10 different ways that you can beat that mum guilt if you watch my last video you will know that I am running a yearly challenge that's broken down into the months of the year and this month is all about you and making sure that you feel the best that you possibly can this January. So this collaboration fits completely brilliantly into this because mum guilt and getting rid of that mum guilt makes us feel better. So let's go straight into it with tip number one. Don't compare. Everybody is different. Everyone can manage different things. They have different commitments. So you can't compare somebody who is a complete Pinterest whiz, always doing crafts with their children and baking these amazing creations to your, we managed to read a few bedtime stories and have a cuddle because I was busy after a day at work. Everybody is different. The main thing is that you do what is best for you and your family. If doing Pinterest things comes naturally to you, great. If they don't come naturally to you, you're only gonna get stressed out if you try and do that. So don't compare yourself to somebody else because what works for them won't necessarily work for you. So next time you see somebody posting something amazing on Facebook or on Instagram that they've done X, Y or Z, just think, great, well done for them, but know that you are doing the very best that you can. Surround yourself with mums who are of a similar mindset to you. Mums who you can talk to about what you're feeling guilty about because nine times out of ten they will come back and say, oh I feel so guilty about that as well. And just knowing that you're not alone and that you've got someone to talk to about it makes you feel so much better. I regularly put things out on my like Insta stories about what I'm feeling guilty about and I have so many mums who come back to me saying oh I feel really guilty about this as well and we shouldn't or some mums who say actually I don't feel guilty about that at all and I don't think you should either and I think just getting other people's opinions and chatting to other mums and surrounding yourself with positive people and people who know what you're on about um, it's just super super important for trying to cut down the mum guilt and just talking about it. I would say don't get into the whole if I spend more money I'm a better mum mentality. We definitely don't come from like the richest background at all like Lawson's Christmas package this year wasn't um, very elaborate at all. I think he had like three or four things and yeah I just I don't feel guilty about that because I know that I am making up for I don't know lack of things and lack of toys with time um, and so yeah this is just like an encouragement to you as well if you're feeling guilty about the fact that you can't spend money to take your child to soft play or to the sea life centre um, or anything like that that's okay, like you don't have to feel guilty about that. I think as long as you're giving your child love and time, then that's all that matters. I don't think it matters how much money you spend on them at all. Following on from Haley's tip is quality, not quantity. I see so many people feeling bad that they don't fill up their days with you know, a trip to here, a craft doing this, and some baking, and some reading, and the DVD, and all of these different things. 
just focus on one thing even if that one thing is an hour long or 20 minutes long the child doesn't know they haven't got a concept of time or whether it took up the whole day they're just going to focus on that amazing thing that they did with their parent so even just a snuggly cuddly story on the sofa if somebody asks them what they've done that day they're just going to remember that one thing i mean take school for example they do loads of things all day what do they remember what they had for lunch. So don't focus on quantity, filling up your days, your weekends, your holidays with jam-packed activities. Just focus on quality things and that could just be as simple as snuggling together. One of my favourite ever things I've ever seen on Facebook and I will try my best to find it is a video that shows a day through a child's eyes and through a mum's eyes and you see the mum and she's stressed and she's doing all this laundry and she's thinking she's done a really bad job of looking after her children that day or her child but then they show the exact same day but through the child's eyes and the child has had the best day because she's helped her mum with the laundry and they've gone shopping together or whatever it was you know and so my tip to you is see it through their eyes all children want is to be loved so as long as you are giving them love and making them feel safe and secure and giving them your attention then they're going to be happy it doesn't matter if you're doing laundry and you're feeling guilty because you've spent all day doing that get them involved they're going to love the fact that they've helped you try and take life less seriously because children don't see the same stresses as us so see life through their eyes and that mum guilt will just disappear. I hope those tips have helped you to realise that you are doing an amazing job. You don't need to compare yourself to others. You don't have to feel guilty for spending your time doing menial tasks around the home. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And you know what? If you surround yourself with people just like you, then you'll realise that we're all just the same. We're all just trying our best. Do remember to pop over to Hayley's channel where you will see more tips from me and from her. Give her a subscribe and if you're not already subscribed to me then please please do hit that subscribe button. I would absolutely love for you to do that and I will see you again soon. Bye!